how to see good in your journey of life. How to see good in your journey, in the journey of life. We say number one, the only way to see good according to James chapter 1 and verse 17 you have to follow God because only God knows where good is. Only God is the source of good. Without God, there can never be good. Good can only be located in God. Because every good and perfect gift is from above, from God. You can have a good marriage, but not perfect. If you want to have a good marriage and a perfect marriage, then you have to follow God. You can have beautiful children who are going to become thieves and prostitutes. But if you follow God and you teach your children to follow God, they will not only be good and beautiful kids, they will also be perfect. They will also be perfect kids. Perfect children. The Bible says, train up your child in the ways of the Lord. When you raise your family with the principle of the word of God, when you raise your children to follow the word of God, they will not only be good, but they will also be perfect. Because anything good and perfect can only come from heaven. I pray that you will have a good and a perfect family. Those of you that are already in families, may God beautify your family and may God perfect your family in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a believing amen? Can I hear a louder amen? Those of you that are already in business, I pray that God will beautify your business and that God will make your business to be perfect in the name of Jesus. I hate your amen. Shout a big amen. Shout a louder amen. So if you want good, you must follow God because God is the source of good. God is the source of good. God is the source of good. That's why even when you are raising your children, you force them to go to church. You don't ask them, Baba, Mommy, do you feel like waking up to go to church? There should not be any discussion like that when you are raising your children. When you are raising your children, make sure that you raise them in the ways of the Lord. In the ways of the Lord. Is it uh, Proverbs 22 verse 16? In the ways of the Lord. You can look for that scripture. Train up your child in the ways of the Lord. Train up your child in the ways of the Lord. Train up your child in the ways of the Lord. Train up your child. One time God said, I know Abraham will command. I know Abraham will teach his children to obey my laws. I know that Abraham will command his children to obey my word. Find that scripture. I know that my servant Abraham will command his children to obey me. To obey me. I know. I God. I trust Abraham with children. I trust Abraham with great destinies. I can give him a president. I can give him a, a child that will become a doctor. I can give him a child who will become deputy president. I can give this woman a child that is going to become a women rep because I know 
as long as this child is there, as long as this parent, this woman is the parent of this child, this child will be able to get to his destiny. This child will be able to become the person I intended. Because I know that Abraham will command his children to obey me. Find that scripture. I know my servant Abraham will teach his children or will command his children to obey my commandments. The reason you have children, the reason some people have children that are troublesome, children that cannot become anything, it is because even God knows that they have no capacity, they have no ability to command their children to walk in the ways that will please God. To walk in the ways that pleases God. If God will give you a child that will become a bishop, you must develop capacity. You must develop yourself such a way that you, God will know that as long as this child is under the tutorship of this man, this child will not miss his destiny. I pray that your children will not miss their destiny because of you. Many people have missed their destinies because of their parents, because of how their parents raised them. Their parents allowed them to do whatever they wanted. Their parents allowed them to walk in the ways that did not please God. And now, life has treated them like suspects. Nobody can trust them with anything because they were not founded on the foundation of the word of God. Genesis 18, 19. For I know him. I know my servant Abraham. That he will command. Tell your neighbor. Learn how to command your children. He says I know Abraham will command his children. And his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord. To do what is right. And to do judgment. That the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. So that God can bring to him. So that God can bring to you. The children that he intended you would raise. Lift up your hand and say my father my maker. Use my hands to raise my children. In the ways that will please you. I pray that God will anoint your hands. That God will anoint your, your words. That the children you have. They will not become robbers. They will not become gangsters. They will not become terrorists. They will not become evil people. They will not become pagans. That your children will become, let me tell you, if your children become bad people, you are to blame. It is not your children. When you squeeze what you are squeezing on the internet, this information world, sasa utafanyia nini mtoto? Na hata ukimkataza, ataenda shule na ataoneshwa. No, wewe ndi ulichagua shule. Sio mtoto walichagua shule. Wewe ndi ulichagua shule. Ungelitaka mtoto wako asiende shule enye atafundishwa vitumbaya, ungetafuta mwalimu wakuje kwa nyumba. Wewe ndi ulitafuta shule. So you are still to blame. Kama watoto wako wataribika, you are still to blame. That's why you need God to help you on how to raise your children. That's why you need to bring your children to God. So that even when you are not there, the Holy Spirit is there. Helping your children. Raising your children. Guiding your children. 
protecting your children from evil. What a shame when you hear that somebody went to school and they got introduced to masturbation. What a shame when you hear that somebody was friends to a neighbor and that neighbor, small boy, a neighbor, introduced your child to stealing, introduced your child, you know, to pornography, introduced your child to lesbianism, you introduced your child to homosexuality. What a shame. What a shame for you. What a shame for you. Where were you? You were given a soul by God to raise and then you became careless because you were busy looking for money. Money to make your children comfortable. Money to buy your children pizza. But the pizza you are feeding your children is the pizza that is giving them the strength to hold a gun. The strength to do masturbation. The strength to become a homosexual. What are you doing with the children that God has given you? Lift up your hand and say, my father, my maker, teach me how to raise my children. Number one, you must follow God. Number two, you must learn from God. Learn from God. Learn from God. Never, never listen to your children when it comes to morality, when it comes to values, when it comes to going to church. Your children are not your leaders. You are the leader to your children. You are the guide to the children. They do what you tell them. They do what they see you doing. I know him that he will command his children after his and his household after him. Even his household after him. Even his grandchildren when they come home. They will be taught the ways of God. Not just my children. Even the grandchildren will also learn the ways of God. Hey, unajua sasa hawa ni watoto wa wenyewe nitawafanyia nini? Unajua Nairobi wajafundishwa kwenda kanisa. Sasa hapa wakikuja nyumbani hata wewe unaacha kwenda kanisa mnakaa wao nyumbani. Hmm? Lift up your hand and say my father my God, have mercy upon my family. Hey, unajua baba yao anatakaga sande washinde na watoto juu anakuaga busy. Baba yao sio Mungu. Baba yao hana eternal life. Baba yao hana destiny yao. Destiny ya hawa watoto iko na Mungu. Baba yao for your information, yeye ni basi tu iliyotumika na Mungu kuleta hawa watoto hapa duniani. Watoto si wake. Watoto si wako. Watoto ni wa Mungu. Wewe ni steward. Baba yao ni steward. Yeye ni caretaker. Sema caretaker. How are you taking care of the children that God has given to you? Somebody say, my father, my God, have mercy upon my children and my family. So learn from God. Learn from God. Write this down. Learning from God empowers you for supernatural results. When you go to Isaiah chapter 51, Isaiah 51, verse 1 and 2. Let's try to read it from NLT so that we, remove, we replace the word haken. Haken is listen. So he says, listen to me. Look up and read together with me. Listen to me, all who hope for deliverance. All who seek the Lord, consider the rock from which you were cut. Where did you come from? The quarry from which you were mined. Where were you mined? Where did you come from? Where is your faith emanating from? Where did your faith emerge from? Continue verse 2. Look at those that are ahead of you. People that loved God, look at them. People who walked with God, look at them and try to learn some wisdom. Try to learn some wisdom. Look at them. He says, yes, think about Abraham, your ancestor. 
and Sarah who gave birth to your nation. Abraham was only one man when I called him, but when I blessed him, he became a great nation. In the morning I told you that profit is not as a result of hard work. People don't become profitable because they work a lot or they have many businesses. You can have one business and become a millionaire. You can do one transaction and become a billionaire. You can do just one business at home and become a millionaire and the rest of your days you are resting. May the Lord give you wonderful, powerful, supernatural, colossal breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. I say may the Lord give you supernatural breakthroughs. You don't have to work hard for you to become profitable. You can work from home and become a millionaire. You can work from home and become a millionaire. So it is not your hard work. It is not how hard you work. It is when, it is when you are empowered by God that you begin to attract supernatural results. Let supernatural results follow you every day. I say supernatural results will follow you every day. So it is not working hard. It is not how hard you work. It is how empowered you are. It is how empowered you are. Lift up your hand and say, my father, my maker, empower me today with your blessing. Proverbs 22, Proverbs 10 verse 22, Proverbs 10 verse 22, the Bible says, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh the rich. The blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and adds no sorrow with it. Lift up your hand and say, my father, my God, release your blessing upon my life. Pour your blessing upon my family. Pour your blessing upon my children. That's why you have to push your children to come to church so that they can get blessed. If you don't want them to struggle all their days, because there are people in this world that will struggle, but there are those that are empowered by God to succeed wherever they go. Anywhere they, you take them to Sudan, they will succeed. You take them to Loitoktok, they will succeed. You take, you take them to Mauritius, they will succeed. You take them to Ghana, they will succeed. You take them to Indonesia, they will succeed. You take them to South Africa, they will succeed. They go to India, they will succeed. They go to Pakistan, and they will succeed there. May God empower you for success. May God empower somebody who is shouting the loudest amen here to succeed. Amen. Glory to God. Lift up your hand and say my father my God I carry your blessing. I carry your blessing. I carry your blessing. You don't need to carry degrees. Degrees are very good if you don't have them go to school and get them. But plus your degrees make sure that you carry a blessing make sure that you carry the blessing of the law receive the blessing of God today I say receive the blessing of God today I say receive the blessing of God today that's all you need the blessing it make the rich you will become very rich somebody here will become very rich I say somebody here will become very rich number two your results in life are proportional to your knowledge of God and his ways. Your results in life are proportional to your knowledge of God and his ways. The knowledge of God and the knowledge of his ways. The ways of God are different from our ways. So you cannot listen to people to find out how to walk with God. You cannot listen to people. To find out how to get blessed. If you want to get blessed. Go to God. Learn from God. Listen to God. Let the Bible. The word of God become your constitution. Let the word of God become your constitution. The Bible says I became more wiser. Than my teachers. I became 
became wiser than the ancient. Psalms 119 verse 100. I became wiser than the ancient. I got more understanding than my teachers. I, get, I got I got more understanding than my teachers. So don't depend on people. Depend on God. Don't depend on people. Depend on God. Lift up your hand and say, my father, my maker, from today, I will hear you. From today, I will hear your voice. From today, I will follow your wisdom. Psalms 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that, that does not listen to the counsel of the ungodly. That is the person. That is the person that will be blessed. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. The ungodly will tell you so many ways of getting blessed. So many ways of becoming rich. But there is only one way of becoming rich. Walking with God and following God. Walking with God. Following God. Learning from God. That's the only way. God is the only way to success. Write that down somewhere. God is the only way to success. There is no any other shortcut. The shortcut to success is God. The shortcut to success is God. The shortcut to success is God. If you read Psalms 37. Psalms 37. You will see what will happen. To the ungodly. You read Psalms 37. Mm, you will see. What will happen to the ungodly. Try from somewhere verse 13 there. Or maybe from verse 20 there. You will see. You will see. You will see. That's, that, that passage. I would want you to go home. And study it. And read it carefully. Hmm? Look at that. The Lord shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his go uh, back kidogo. The wicked, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow, their bow to cast down the poor and the needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. I wanted you to go backward. A little bit. Like from verse 12. Verse. Uh -huh. Okay, let's start there. But the meek. Okay, if you hear but, there must be something else that was said. Let's go to verse 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Look at that. It's just a little while. And if you are a wicked person, we shall look for you. We will not see you. We will look for you. We will not find you if you are wicked. The wicked cannot survive. Lift up your hand and say, my father, my maker. Say again, my God, my maker. From today, I refuse to be wicked. Remove wickedness from my heart. You must pray for your heart always because your heart is full of wickedness. The heart of a man is full of deceit. The heart of a man is full of wickedness. Man in his fallen state is full of wickedness. For yet a little while and the wicked shall not be. You will look for them, you will not find them. Yeah, thou shalt diligently consider his place and shall not and it shall not be. Give us from another translation and see. Hey, lift up your hand and say I refuse to be wicked. Say again, I refuse to be wicked. Ah, look at that. You will look carefully for his place. But it shall not, it shall be no more. When you look for the wicked, after some time, tell your neighbor, after some time. Tell your neighbor, it is only a matter of time. Yes. So God says, he's warning you, don't follow the way of the wicked. Because if you follow the wicked, 
It is only a matter of time. You will look for them and you will not find them. You will look for their business. You will not find it. You will look for their methods to work for you. And they will no longer work for you. Only the ways of God work. Only the ways of God work. I pray that God will help you to know his ways. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That John chapter. That John. It has only one chapter. Verse 2. That John chapter 1 and verse 2. This is what the Bible says. That John chapter 1 and verse 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospereth. Can I tell you something, friends? You cannot be struggling spiritually and succeed physically. If you are struggling Physically, it is because you are struggling spiritually. If you are having it hard physically, it is because in the spiritual, you have not broken through. I pray from today that God will teach you how to break through in the spirit. I pray that you will break through in the spirit. Let me tell you something. The moment you break through in the spirit, you will break through in the physical you will break through in the physical. You will break through in the natural. The moment you break through in the spirit, in the natural, it will not be hard for you. From today in the name of Jesus, I decree that God is giving you the grace to, to have a penetration, to have a breakthrough, to have success in the spirit. And as you prosper in the spirit, may you prosper in the physical. May you prosper in the physical. If you want things to happen for you in the physical, make sure that they have already happened in the spiritual. That's why we, you, cannot, you cannot sleep until 8 and then you go to open your business and you expect results. Results are for people who woke up at night and prayed and transacted in the spirit. Because there is no and there can never be trans any transaction in the physical until there is a transaction in the spirit. There is no exchange in the physical if there has not been an exchange in the spiritual. I pray that God will give you understanding. That is why people that are wise, people that are going far, people that will see results, people that will succeed, believers that are not going to just pray, believers that are going to be driving, believers that are going to be building, believers that are going to do a mega, mega project, they wake up at night and they contend in the spirit, they fight in the spirit, they are aggressive in the spirit, they open doors in the spirit, at night you hear them groaning, at night you hear them praying, at night they are praying, at night they are slapping the devil, at night they are pushing the devil away. Prayer is the key that opens for you the treasures of heaven and releases a blessing into your life. Prayer is that important. Prayer is the force that pushes back the forces of darkness. I need you to understand that very carefully and very, very, very keenly. Prayer is the force, the force that has been given to a believer to push back the enemy. To push back the forces of darkness. Because the more the devil is closer to you. The more the devil comes near you. The more darkness encroaches your life. With all this light we have here. Can you imagine? There is still some encroachment of darkness. Look at here. You will see some darkness somewhere. With all this light. The devil is still trying to penetrate. The devil is still trying to encroach your life. What if you were to close the light? What if you were to hinder? What if you were to shut this place completely? Darkness will be full. Darkness will fill the room. I'm telling you. The more we go closer to God. The more the darkness. 
weakness that is automatic in your life will continue to be pushed away. When you, if you had come here on sun, last Sunday, you would have found a lot of shade here. But now there is light because there is this window. Praise the Lord. That is how a believer, that is how a believer's life is. The more you pray, the more light enters into your life. Because the more you pray, the more you go close to God. And the more you go close to God, God is light. What is God? God is light. God is who? God is light. So the more you go close to God, the more your life is illuminated. The more your life is illuminated by the light of God. So the more you stay away from God, the more there is darkness. If you look at this side, you will see the, the ties are not the same color with the other side. There is a lot of darkness here. There is a lot of shade here. There is a lot of darkness here. But on the other side, there is a lot of light. Outside there, it is brighter because there is sun there. Hallelujah. Let us stay near God. Let us go near God. The more you pray at night in the morning, the more when you go to your work, there is a lot of light around you. The darkness cannot enter your business. Bad things cannot enter your business. From today in the name of Jesus, if you are getting this revelation, may the Lord put light in your business. May the Lord shed a lot of light in your family. Let there be light in your family. I said, let there be light in your family. Don't entertain darkness. Don't entertain darkness. Don't sleep too much. When you sleep too much, darkness will encroach your life. The Bible says, love not sleep. Proverbs 20 verse 3. Love not sleep. Love not sleep. Is it verse 3 or verse 20? Latin. Hallelujah. Love not sleep. Usipende kulala. Ambia jirani. Tingiza jirani. Mushika kwa mabega ni mekupatia rusa. Awe ni dada. Awe ni dugu. Awe ni bibi ya mutu. Mambia tuko church. Sisi wate ni watoto wa mungu. Kwa hivyo mushikilia. Olafu umtingize kidogo. Umambia usipende kulala. Ambia jirani mwingine chukia usingizi. Ukichukia usingizi, utakuwa satisfied with the bread. Wangapi wapa wanataka kukua na mkate mbaka watosheke. Mkate sio mkate tu inamanisha uh, kukue na abundance of food. Abundance of food. Wangapi wanataka kwao kusiwai kosa. Kwao kusiwai kosa. Hmm. Sinyinyi wote munataka hivo. Sasa wangapi wanapenda kulala hapa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kama unataka mkate ijae kwako. Kama unataka usiwai kukosa. Chukia usingizi. Fanya nini? Chukia usingizi. Amka usiku uombe. Amka usiku unganganie baraka zako. Because if you are not well spiritually, you cannot be well physically. If you are not okay spiritually, you cannot be okay physically. Everything starts in the spirit because we are spiritual beings. Baraka zetu has tokagi kwa safaricom. Baraka zetu has itokagi kwa government. Baraka zetu has itokagi kwa yo kampuni imekuandika. Baraka zako zinatoka binguni. Nasema baraka zako zinatoka binguni. Uneza kulipwa 50,000 na mimi nilipwe 10,000 na nikue, nikue nimebarikiwa kukuliko. Uneza pata 100,000 na mimi nipate 10,000 na niwe nime, nimebarikiwa kukuliko. Kwa sababu baraka zetu hazitokagi kwa pay slip. Baraka zetu zinatoka binguni. Hata nikipata 10,000 lakini nimebarikiwa nitakuwa na, nitakuwa na mali mingi kukuliko. Kwa sababu mimi niko na baraka ya kutoka binguni. Nikipata 10,000 10,000 haishi ya raka. Nikipata 15,000 hiyo 15,000 mungu ananipatia wisdom ya kui multiply. Nikipata 10,000 atama 5,000 
Wisdom Mungu ananipatia wisdom ninaweza ku multiply yangu inakuwa multiplied ya muovu inaendelea kuisha Muovu atakipata milioni itaisha haitamsaidia wewe jiulize ni pesa ngapi imewahi kupita kwa mikono yako Alafu ujiulize ni nini nilifanya nayo watu wengi hawapendi kufikiria hivyo because wakifikiria hivyo watarukwa na kichwa ni kichwa uruka ama ni akili uruka inarukaga inaenda wapi yeah. <laughs> ukianza kufanya kuna watu waezi kufanya hesabu hata ya wiki moja kwa sababu akianza kufanya hesabu akili itamuuma two days atajiona mujinga hiyo kujiona mujinga ni muhimu sana enda ufanye mahesabu leo i challenge you enda ukae chini ufanye mahesabu ya kuanzia hiyo wiki ambayo imeisha ama kuanzia hata leo kila ukitumia pesa unaandika leo nimenunulia so and so credit ya 200 unaandika nilitumia fulani 200 ya credit haya Unatembea tembea unapata njugu kwa matatu unanunua ya 20 bob unaandika by the end of the day utaona ile pesa utakuwa umetumia unapitia kwa mutura unanunua ya 30 bob unaandika pia hiyo by the end of the day utaona ni wapi pesa inaendaga si shetani mbaya ni akili yako mbaya sio shetani mbaya ni akili yako nini akili imelala biblia inasema love not do not love sleep lest thou come to poverty akili kilala poverty inakuja akili kilala nini inafuata poverty poverty inafuata somebody say this year i will see good say again this year i will see good stand on your feet i want you to ask god to give you wisdom how to manage your resources wisdom to manage what he gives you wisdom to manage what he gives you because god has been giving us a lot god has been blessing a lot god has been blessing us a lot but how we use it how we manage our blessing is the problem i want us to ask god to help us to remove the stupidity that has kept us in poverty sunday to you lizwa in psalms 1 and verse 20 how long you simple one will you continue to love simplicity how long will you continue to love simplicity that's the question that's the question psalms 1 verse 20 to 22 how long will you continue in simplicity how long will you continue to be in simplicity how long you simple ones will you love simplicity for scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge kuna watu hawapendi wisdom kuna watu nikiwaongelesha hivi wamenichukia yao yote praise the lord ambia mungu mimi nimekataa kuwa mjinga hiyo ndio kitu nataka tuombe nataka uambie mungu akupatie wisdom hata kama unapataka elfu tano kuna wisdom mungu anaweza kukufundisha leo yenye itakuletea 50000 yenye itakufunga nataka tu uambie Mungu nifungue macho kama kuna kitu sijakuwa nikiona nifungue macho nione enda mbele za Mungu clap your hands as you pray clap your hands as you pray that God will open your eyes 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 that God will give you wisdom that God will give you wisdom shela balaba gadaba rekotosila bashane